Hello and welcome. Please take a moment, pause the video, and try this problem on your own. Let's start by reading this question. It says the formula for the area of a trapezoid is A equals, and I like to write these out as I'm going, 1 half times the height times base 1 plus base 2. Express B1 in terms of AH and B uh, sub 2. So B sub 1, this 1 right here just refers to the first B or first base. And they want us to get a formula for B1 in terms of all the other variables here in some order. So we're isolating B1. We're solving for it. We can't get an exact value for B1 because we don't know what the other variable is equal. But the idea is to isolate this one variable in terms of the other, so to get everything else on the other side of the equation except for b1. So here we have our equation. How might we go about doing that? Well, there's lots of ways to do this. What I might do, first of all, is multiply everything by both sides on two, by 2. What this does is it allows me to um, basically eliminate this fraction, right? So here, if we have 2 times a, we have to multiply everything on both sides, we have 2a. 2 times 1 half is just 1, so that cancels out. We don't have to also multiply the 2 by h or b1 plus b2 because it's already being multiplied um, when we multiply 2 by 1 half, so it's already canceling out. So here, we just have h times b1 plus b2. And now it's a little bit less intimidating. So here I'm going to divide both sides by h, right? That gets me 2a over h equals, well, these h's cancel out, b1 and plus b2. I don't need these parentheses anymore. It's just addition. Final step to eliminate, uh, to isolate, excuse me, b1, I would subtract b2 from both sides. So I get 2a over h minus b2 equals b1. And I might reverse that order using the symmetric property, right? This is the same thing, I'm just setting up the equation, so B1's on the left side. Um, that's just my personal preference, just like this. And that would be my answer. Now, in the second part of the equation, what do they say? Well, they say that the area of the trapezoid is 60 square feet. So they're giving us the area. So A, and I like to write these out as I go so I don't lose track of them, equals 60 feet. Height is 6 feet, so h is 6 feet and one of the bases is 12 feet okay so I'll say b2 the second base is 12 feet because I know I've already isolated b1 find the number of feet of the other base so it's easiest to find b1 because we have all of the other values of the variables so b1 is going to equal 2 times 60 feet squared over divided by 6 feet minus 12 feet right here. So here, when we solve for b1, what's going to happen? Well, 2 and the 6 cancel out to a third, so it's really 1 third. And 60 over 3 is 20. Feet squared divided by feet. Well, that just cancels out to feet. It's kind of like a variable to the second power, like x squared over x just becomes x. Same idea, both units. So the first base equals 20 feet minus 12 feet, and that means the first base equals 8 feet, and that's our answer. Alright, hope this helped.